Hey y'all, how you doing? 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 doing? I hope you're great. Hope you're well. Hope you're great and you're well. Oh goodness. How life been treating y'all out here in the street. How has life been treating y'all in these streets? Cutting guidance and protection. Sarah, Cancer, Leo, Cut. Cutting two, cutting guidance and protection. <laughs> For kids. <laughs> well, I gotta feed. I gotta get my plants on. Well, I ain't giving up. So listen to what Divine did, y'all. Divine set her ass up here, killed the bird, right? Ate it, and left the head on the porch. You know what? I never even looked that up. Make sure it ain't symbolic for nothing. My bad. <laughs> so how was y'all little weekend of whatever this little Memorial Day? Was it Memorial Day or Labor Day? Memorial Day. How was y'all Memorial Day? It's my present. They said that was my her present to me. <laughs> The dead bird was her present to me. No, that's not a present. <laughs> Cloudy Chill, Feeling Guidance and Protection Spirit and Ancestors for Cancer Leo Tucks. What's the energy for our Cancer Leo Tucks? <sighs> Clouds. Clouds is here. Think the clouds is here. Number six, confusion, secrets, and insecurity. Oh. So what's been going on while I've been gone, y'all? Uh -oh. What's been going on? Who out here? See, that hot, that heat came in. Now y'all being little thoughts. Uh-huh, thoughts and thought it. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you just can't see through the cloudy vision. Even if it seems all you do is focus on the very thing, on that very thing, it may still feel like you just can't see the sun. The clouds card is a card of confusion and misunderstandings. When doubts and secrets creep into our line of vision, often sadness and insecurities give us tunnel vision for clouded judgment. Mm -hmm. And it is here, and it is here we feel both stuck and spiraling at the same time. However, no, you must you mustn't panic. You have to pay attention and focus. Excuse me, sorry. Oh, excuse me. The sight of the truth is there. Just be patient and allow the winds of the universe to roll this those clouds away. For it is destined that soon the sight of the truth will shine brighter than the sun. If it's in love, the only thing clear here is that there are indeed problems. You are not sure what to do, but know at all times you must do what's best for you. Stay true to the vision you embody for yourself, for the one always 
was clear. For that one was always clear. For career, cloud cards can illuminate instability within your direction. Even if you are not sure, focus and weigh the options of your truth. The rest will be revealed, but first you must focus enough to see it. And you know what? I had paid attention to because I was going through that with the career part. Do you know I started so much stuff, got the documentation and the paperwork for so many things that trying to execute them all at the same time is just simply impossible. So I chose to just take one, focus on it, get the ball rolling in it, get the money rolling in that and, and go on to the next one, get the ball rolling. And it's okay to hire somebody, you know, once you get the ball rolling in one department, go on and hire somebody to help you out and go on to the next assignment, get the ball rolling in this because I, I'm hiring my daughter in a minute because I don't care what nobody say. And then when I'm done with the other one, my, that's going to be my son's job. I'm just micromanaging. So the children ain't got any protection still in their chest. I'm going to let my daughter do that until I'm able to just come back to it and do it on my own while I execute something else. Because she got out of school now and she got her two jobs. Excuse me. And um, hustles. Clarity, you feeling God is in protection. Clarify this cloud energy and love. Too, I'm going to do one for love and I'm going to do one for career if I can find one. Clarify this cloud energy for love. For Cancer Leo Cut. What is this cloud energy? Sexual healing. <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> What's going on with y'all little freaky self? <laughs> I don't even know what to pull out the deck for this because y'all is crazy for this one. Oh, what card? Hold on. Who the fuck just hit him? Okay. Clarify clouds, spirit and ancestors for cancer. Oh, shit. Cancer Leo Cups career. Clouds for Cancer Leo Cups career and ancestors. What's the these clouds for for Cancer Leo Cups and career? Oh, okay. <laughs> Y'all shit is very direct today. And you got the stork. The Queen of Hearts. Oh, you little snooker. Number 17. Sexual healing is here. You need some you need some attention. <laughs> Horny. <laughs> Let me shut up. Horny, lustful, sexual frustrations, wanting sexual needs met, sexual pleasure and desire. Someone only wanting sex. Oh my God, y'all. What is y'all out here doing? <laughs> is this somebody wanting this from y'all? And this is what y'all out here on. Um, like, this is me for real. When I get that feeling, I want sexual healing, sexual healing, do something that's good for me. Pretty true, feeling guidance and protection for the ancestors. Cancel the others. Clarify this sexual healing energy, spirit. Who's in this sexual healing energy? So this might be you. Y'all might be some little horny little uh, cancerings right now up here clamping on people. Knowing good and damn well that cause stalkers. And then your Leo side showing. Eight of Wands block. So y'all, y'all, so this is what y'all doing. And tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if somebody did this to y'all. But you sit up there and pop that puss or pop that <laughs> mandingo on somebody. And block them. <laughs> Can I deal with y'all? So about this sexual healing energy, spirit and ancestors. Who's in this sexual healing energy? Who is in this sexual healing energy, y'all? It's hot. Okay? Fucking hot. My hair is sticking up over my head. I ain't got no clothes on, so whatever. Nine of swords. Why is the nine of swords here? Spirit, why is the nine of swords here for sexual healing? This is some sexual frustration. The six of cups. <laughs> Somebody up here thinking about that pussy, okay? 
Somebody is thinking about throwing some shit. Spirit, why am I getting this energy? Now they about to block me off of, uh, here again. Because it didn't got lag. It looked like somebody wants some type of... <sighs> okay, what is this? It cuts. It, it's no trust in this. It's like you want this person. You want them to give you something. You want them to make you feel a certain way. You want the foreplay. You want the passion. You want the attention. And they ain't got time. They're not giving it to you. You don't trust this. You you suspic you suspicious of their behavior. Something about their behavior is causing you or making you feel like or somebody's feeling like that about you. They're having bad, negative thoughts. They think you're messing around on them. Or well, you are. Are y'all? Don't be lying to me. I'm just a reader. Somebody could be regretting how they treated you in the past or how y'all got to where y'all are now. Because you know, when people play them little games and now they didn't play them so doggone much, you don't trust them. So now they're like in regret that they played these games because now it's stress around it. Now you don't trust them and or, you, or they don't trust you. Whew, baby, listen. I feel like a lot of y'all got to y'all breaking point and y'all could have possibly went astray. I don't know if y'all feel sorry or in any type of regret for doing it, but it's just a constant... um. It's constantly going over your head. You could be at a stand. So should I stay? Should I go? He loves me. He loves me. Not kind of like energy. You not for sure where you stand in this connection anymore. But I really believe a lot of y'all not getting the sexual healing that you you seek. Okay. And it could be lust. You feel like your par your partner just lusts you or just come to you for sex. And they out here doing everything the fuck else. But at the same time, you can't really move on with somebody else. Y'all might wind up with a toxic partner or an aggressive partner. Some of y'all could be with an abusive partner. And some of y'all could be just with somebody that loves this super, super, super clingy. And that's not going to let go no matter what you... Somebody, y'all could be with a fixed sign. Mm-hmm. This also could be somebody thinking about you in the pet that that has not let you all the way go. There, this could be somebody that hasn't let you go, or they haven't let their past lovers go. They think you're like the past lovers. That's why they're not giving you what you deserve. So this really just comes to a point of you having to make a decision about something. You got to make a decision if you're going to stay with this kind of energy or not. Is they going to, because this is somebody who's not giving you what you deserve. So because of their past indiscretions, relationships, whatever they had going on. So now they're lacking in the current relationship because they don't know how to heal and let go of the past. Or as you, tell me more about this sexual healing for Cancer Leo Cup, Spirit and Ancestors, sexual healing for my Cancer Leo Cup. I keep hearing them coming in hot. And look who came out, coming in hot. A hermit and the king of wands. They done some shit. I'm coming in hot. Tell me more about this sexual healing. You know that damn king of wands. He's throwing it in a circle. Ace of wands is in, re in reverse. Why is the ace of wands in reverse for sexual healing? The lovers is in reverse. Are y'all disconnected? What? Why is the lovers in reverse for sexual healing? The world is in reverse. What the hell? I mean, the will of fortune. And what happened with this will of Hickle, the Queen of Wands? And why is this uh, will of fortune in reverse for this relationship, for this sexual healing? You got an emperor in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. So. Tell me why this will of fortune is in reverse, Spirit and Ancestors. For the lovers in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. You, you, it's like somebody is taking back the poom poom. 
Somebody is not giving giving a giving that pipe, or they just took back the ping poom poom because the, it's an unacquired love because it's it's very misfortunate between the two of you that it's like y'all met at you feel like y'all met at the wrong time. Like maybe if he was a few years older, or she was a few years older and, and mature about some things, you'll be game with it. But somebody did some poor investing in this connection. Seem like this this. Investment didn't go according to plan. It seemed more like a love affair, but it lacked the excitement of love. Like we in the love bliss. We in the, we in the, ooh, the bubble. You know, that bubble is a motherfucker, okay? Especially when it comes to love. That's a motherfucker, okay? It, it's just a bunch of delays and blockages. blockages. Uh, it, it, it's no affection. It's no passion. It's no, you know, we sensual people, you know? That's how a lot of people get wrapped up in our poison because of our sensualness. I'm sorry, Leo Cancer Cups. This, this, I'm not saying y'all don't have it, but it's the natural essence of a Cancer Leo Cups is a strong sensualness. Am I saying it right? Everybody has their thing. And then ours mixed with that shriek of fire. So it's the nourishing, loving, and then we are... <laughs> Let me shut up before... Uh... Uh, YouTube evict me again with they whack motherfucking ass. I can't stand YouTube. Why are you trying to kick somebody off? Like, YouTube want to act like they don't get horny. Well, bitch, that ain't my fault. Y'all don't talk about sex. Bitch. Especially all of the stuff that other countries get to post. I just think it's some real biasness on YouTube. That's just period. <sighs> I, I, I think a lot of y'all are trying to move away from this connection, whatever this situation is, because of the frustration that comes with it. I believe you want to love this person. You want more. You want it to be what you want it to be. They're not giving. It's not no reciprocation going on here. You feel like it was a bad investment. But for some of y'all, it's a lot of emotions connected here. It's, a, it's something, a codependency that causes you to still deal with this person hold on to their energy hold on to their presence there's some comfortability around it get i get that yes i do it happens in connections you wind up being stuck to the motherfucker and, and can't stand them but you ain't leaving <laughs> i'm not going back then get out i don't care don't come in my shit huffing and puffing yeah you i'm so sick of you and the people like the things like you. Y'all done told my whole room up. You done lay all over my stuff just because I went in here. That did not give you the right to tear my room up, Zena. You and your lover, Zena and Seven are lovers, right? I think y'all know this by now. But it's just the fact that for some reason, just because she likes silver foxes, I supposed to give a damn. Because they run all off in here together and she flips all on the floor. Yeah, I'm talking about you. She flips all on the floor and he jumps all on her and they do all this old crazy stuff. Then he be all up here and she be all up here. It's, it's, they piss me off. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> it's, it's something else affected. It's people affection affected this connection. It's, it's like either people is affecting this connection. It's something outside of you all's connection that's fucking it up, honestly. Somebody could just have a serious control issue and they want to dominate you. You know, we keep seeing this emperor in reverse. He wants some type of dominancy over you. And by you not uh, bending the knee, it's, this person is going even more crazy. Right, and then I it might get to the point that they just might lose you, like, or you just might lose them. But somebody's about to lose out because you about to go astray. I feel like y'all leaving. Like, if you're not about to invest, this is somebody who keep putting you on the shelf, telling you to fucking wait. Like you, like bitch, you just got, you just didn't get the result you was looking for from this connection. You just didn't get it. 
And and it's sad. And it could be because somebody just procrastinating. And the will of fortune can also be that it's just not done between y'all emotionally, but you want to finalize it, but something is stagnating it, okay? Some of y'all love life could be out of control. You could have an overwhelming amount of suitors and you just don't know what to do. Like you could be telling somebody, no, you're not interested, but they just like, no, ain't nobody listening to you. I'll be over there tomorrow. Some shit like that. Like, <laughs> so luck just haven't been on your side or this is somebody else you're dealing with and luck has not been on their side with love and this could be the reason why they're clinging to you someone feels like they're losing you they're disconnecting from you the sex has declined your availability has declined this doesn't seem fortunate anymore even though for some reason i think it's a strong connection here but it's not being executed properly between the two of you all you, either they not giving properly or you not child i don't know y'all know i don't know Shit. number 17 is the stork and this is your career it say with movements upgrades and improvement come on i bring spring and the change of seasons yes sometimes my symbol stands for a new family or oh, addition not spirit don't be playing with us okay because you keep threatening us of this child and you know the stork ain't that the ones to carry dumbo shut up spirit ain't nobody about to have no baby It says symbol stands for a new family addition or simply a new state of evolution. I can be your move or your next promotion. Come on now, stink. What y'all about to do with y'all with? Y'all with it? Y'all ready? Ready to get in them bags? Well, let's conclude this sexual energy right quick. Let's conclude this sexual healing for my cancer. What is this sexual? What's the outcome for this sexual healing for cancer? What's the outcome for sexual healing? Control. This control is going to end you all. Why is the emperor in reverse for the conclusion? Why is the emperor's emperor is in reverse? A uh hung -huh, man in reverse. And why is the hangman here in reverse? Aries energy, Pisces energy. Why is this hanging in, in reverse for this temper? For this sexual healing conclusion for Cancer Leo Cups, Spirit and Ancestors. Four Cups. Is <laughs> cancer. Oh. oh, look. I, you could have possibly stopped dealing with somebody else. And went to something else, found something else new, like a serious new connection here. Six of Swords is in reverse, and Nine of Wands, and the Strength is in reverse. Yeah, somebody could be heartbroken over this after losing you, possibly. Somebody could have possibly lost you, and you went on and had a happy ending someplace else with somebody else, and they're watching that unfold. Oof, that's thick, y'all. That just made my stomach hurt. So, is it y'all? Did y'all lose somebody, or did they lose somebody? Because, baby... I'm about to puke. And I think they seen you with this person and now they're sick. Oh. It's like, it's a power struggle in this connection. I don't know if y'all gonna keep it up or not, but it's most definitely a struggle in this connection of power. And somebody wants you to surrender and I don't think you're bending a breaking it could be some competitiveness somebody could be trying to compete with you uh this could be a relationship where somebody feel like they gotta one-up you because you might have more than them so they're going to get something else you know what i'm saying or someone's just simply overbearing in the damn relationship you got somebody overbearing, then you got somebody stubborn, then you got a complete tyrant. And honestly, both of y'all can, the overbearing and stubbornness and the controlling can make y'all both tyrants, honestly. Just reckless. And I really believe a lot of this is circled around how y'all really feel for each other. I don't think y'all expressing y'all feelings for each other and, and, and acting on them and like coming to an agreement.
It looks like the emperor is getting a new perspective, though, with the hangman in reverse. It looks like he's getting a new perspective on love, and he's starting to make changes for the best. He know he has to do more, or he's going to have to show out if you're dealing with an Aries, or you're just dealing with a strong, dominant sign, somebody who's very who's used to controlling everything. They're used to being the lead. They did not expect to find a woman or a man that's standing on their own and not as needy as what they're used to, because they probably used to having to do everything for previous people but now you don't need seem as needy you go get the bag on your own you got the house you got the car you can clean up you take care of the kids someone isn't understanding what you need in a relationship you need the emotional support it's no emotions here it's sex finances no emotion. And I'm going to tell y'all one thing behind all of this too. Don't sacrifice yourself for no connection that's not giving you what you need. We come too far to sacrifice ourselves for these doggone connections. To to be patiently waiting on somebody to grow the entire the fuck up. Because what the fuck is that about growing up? Someone who's just refusing. Just got every excuse in the world to lack on being there for you, loving you, supporting you, or someone who come up with them riddles. I don't like them riddles. You be like, let me get a hundred dollars. I wish I would get somebody a hundred dollars. I'm not helping you pay no bills. And why are you in my life? People just instantly believe just because you need see a man that's ready for a woman, he knows. He's going to have to ask for something else. I mean, she's she's coming to him because where is it that you will probably have multiple to go to? Now you only messing with this one man. So you just go to this one man. I don't know. I think they might take on a new perspective and they might blow your mind. They might start showing you just how serious they is. They probably got a new understanding after you just skirted on them. I don't know what you're going to do to this person, but it's going to cause they ass to the sip, the sip. How do my cancer Leo cuz know who this person is in love? I need to delete this as a love reading. How do we know who this person is in love? Spirit and ancestors for cancer Leo cuz. We got the five of pentacles is in reverse. Aww. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer Leo Cups and Love and this sexual healing energy. And the Six of Swords in reverse. Hey, y'all. Y'all not get. Hold on. Six of Swords in reverse. And the Eight of Swords is in reverse. Bro, y'all not getting rid of this person. It's like they're stuck. And another thing. It's like they're trying to get out of some type of debt. They're trying to pay their bills. They're trying to come out of debt with you. They're, they're in some type of rearage. They got something going on. And then the Six of Swords is in reverse. It's a, I'm telling you, you're dealing with a fixed sign. And ain't nobody going to tell me nothing different. Because it's hard for this person to budge. They won't budge. The Eight of Swords in reverse, but they getting out of their head, their mental state. They probably did have a mental state, or they try to act like they had a mental state. You know how people try to act like they slowing down to get a check, and you know they ain't either. You probably called this hell for out. You called this hell for out. I'm telling you, this person is not going to be able to move on, not going to be able to let go, or you're not going to be able to move on, and you're not going to be able to let go of this connection. You not. It's it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a battle sting. This is gonna be a serious battle. This is like someone this eight of swords in reverse. Somebody has a clear view of what this relationship needs, okay? And their role they're supposed to play in this relationship. Either someone is releasing or someone is taking control of their behavior. And so y'all probably releasing this person that won't let go. This can go any way. Y'all release this person or this emperor is facing his fear of love and coming towards you and, and giving you what you desire, giving you what you want. Show out then. So I'm gonna come back and do the, the, the financial part when I get back. I'm gonna reread it and stuff, but I'm gonna leave the video short for once. Okay. You are appreciated. Thank you all. I miss you all. I'm back by popular demand. <laughs> and we didn't we didn't hit 
we over 800 subscribers finally y'all we all we got to get to 200 we got to get to our thousand and uh peace love and light mm.